Okay, um, just want to give you a little bit of a run through of what's uh, the main things in MRK 460 by doing a little Camtasia screen capture here. Uh, the learning outcomes, which I'll talk about in the first or second class, are simply the boring list of things you're supposed to learn in this course, but uh, I'm going to emphasize them repeatedly so you don't have to worry about knowing what those are. But that's typically in an academic uh, description of what a course is. There has to be some identification of what you're trying to achieve and what the students are supposed to learn, and that's what those list of those eight things are. And then I did an expanded version because I don't think these sentences really describe it, so this is what the expanded version is. The six E's. That's a big thing. Basically, uh, this is like a course, uh, Intro to Business, BAM 101, which we took about it in an international context. So this is the list of all the different subjects within those six E's. The political environment, we'll talk about Canadian government services, embassies, consulates. Talk about currency exchange rates in the economic environment, the World Bank. Social cultural environment, we talk about ethics. The technological environment, we talk about social media and viral marketing. Geographic environment, we talk about climate extremes and weather and tsunamis and tidal waves and fire tornadoes and so on. And of course, the more important thing is competitive environment. We'll talk a little bit about the international trade agreements, but only as it applies to Canadian exporters. We'll talk about the four types of opportunities, which are left over from our MRK 106. We'll talk about globalization and how that puts a lot of pressure on competition and also collaborative arrangements, why so many companies are involved in joint ventures. And we'll also talk about risk and threat. This is a big thing for me. Um, success in business is not necessarily about doing the right thing, but about avoiding problems. As the uh, Chinese uh, famous philosopher said, sometimes success is simply you sit on the riverbank and watch your dead enemy float by. You don't do anything. Your competition kills itself by overexertion. And we'll also talk a business plan and marketing plan in the context of a GOPT. So the other thing too is... Uh, YouTube profile. Now, you don't really have to do this. If you just signed off on each comment by saying your first name and the initial of your last name in your section, then I would know who it is. But basically, the reason I do this is so that when you do make comments on the YouTube videos, I can know who it was. Now, this is the same sort of four column format that most of my courses have. And the reason why I do this is so that you basically have on one page the physical ability to see all the entire things of what we're doing and then move back and forth. Uh, so that you can understand that. So this would be all the different things we're doing in September, hopefully. And at the very bottom of it, because we've got three sections, at the very bottom, this would be the Tuesday class dates. This is the Wednesday class dates and the Thursday class class. Uh, there's something that happens. For example, I have to cancel a class or there's a weather problem or a snow day or things like that. I don't know how that applied to being online unless the hydro wires go down. But there I can put in things here that, that need to be changed, right? So every section's got its own row across there with the different dates. So this is all the things we're going to... And now, the thing also that I do to help students is... Let's go to the top here. You see these little red letters underneath here? Did June 5th, Friday a.m. class or Friday p.m. class? So what I the reason why I do that is if someone didn't get to a class or didn't see us on time, they would know exactly what subjects we did. Because if you go and say, okay, this is your course outline, this doesn't tell you what or when or the sequence of things. So that's why I put that in there. And so they're blank here, uh, but as we do things, I'll put those in there. So in October, we'll talk about Canada-U.S. things. We'll talk about Canada-U.S. relations. Some very funny videos here. We'll also talk about the coronavirus things. We'll talk about ethics. So very interesting situations there. We'll talk about viral marketing in the context of the technological environment and globalization and products and four types of opportunities and orientations. This is very, very useful information here. Then we'll talk about government in a way that no other textbook does because I'm talking about how the Canadian government influences businesses and I'll talk about the government influence on trade and we've also got some student videos about that. Then we get into what we're going to discuss after the break in November, talk about tariffs. I promise I'll make them interesting. Subsidies, trade regulations, rules, uh, World Trade Organization, some things about foreign direct investment. This is how, for some of you that want to get a job in international business, I'll explain this in that context. Then we'll talk about the foreign exchange market and counter trade, how you can trade baseball gloves for um, cigars and other things like that. World Bank and the IMF will talk about uh, political risk and contingency planning. This is a big thing about personal risk, registering with the Canadian Embassy, traveling overseas government agencies, why export extra collaborative arrangements. We'll talk about HR staffing policies, things that affect you. 
And these are some also examples of the assignments. So there's one big assignment in this course, a video, which you do in a group project. And here's some examples, if you click there, uh, previous student videos. So the great way to teach this is simply to be able to show you what students had done before. And then lastly, towards the end of the course, we talk about offshoring and outsourcing. We'll talk about TQM, uh, talk about just-in-time technology, quality, um, branding, export financing. I'll talk to you about how to get money from the provincial and federal government and we'll talk about some technical things like letters of credit and also stock market, how to get rich on the stock market. I'll talk about my favorite company Shopify which is founded by the three guys who are former students of mine and then we'll talk about your big huge project. Okay so basically that's what we're going to do in 12 classes <laughs> but trust me we can get her done. Okay the object is not for you to learn 17, 18, 19 things. I would be satisfied if you remembered five things from this whole course in, in three months. I'm just going to go over them repeatedly so that you understand them. Okay? So that is the course there. Now, if you go further down this page, right past this section here, which is the sort of detailed outline, you also get some description of the assignment that you're going to be doing. And also some little videos here about reading the newspaper on a regular basis, which I cannot emphasize enough. Also some helpful tips about group reports and also the bare basics of this global business marketing plan which I'll uh, explain in more detail. And this is also the uh, grading structure. So we're not going to do a whole bunch of little assignments because that just stress you out. I just have a couple things worth a lot. Like this video for example is worth 25%. It's not 5, it's not 10, it's not 15, it's 25%. Uh, and then you've got this big huge marketing plan at the end. There is no midterm exam. There's no final exam. Just working on this big, huge project, okay? So that's the basics of the course right there.